Terrence the Tractor. Autumn was changing the leaves from green to brown, and the fields were changing too, from yellow's rubble to brown earth. As Thomas puffed along, he heard the chug, chug, chug of a tractor at work. One day, stopping at a, stopping at a signal, he, he saw the tractor close by. Hello, said the tractor. I'm Terrence. I'm plowing. I'm Thomas. I'm pulling a train. What ugly wheels you got. They're not ugly. They're caterpillars, said Terrence. I can go anywhere. I don't need rails. I, I don't want to go anywhere, said Thomas huffily. I like my rails, thank you. Thomas even saw Terrence working. But though he whistled, Terence never answered. Winter came with heavy, dark clouds full of snow. I don't like it, said Thomas's driver. A heavy fall's coming. I hope it doesn't stop us. Pooh, said Thomas, seeing the snow melt on the rails. Silly soft stuff. Nothing to it. And he puffed on feeling called by triumphant. They finished their journey safely, but by but the country was covered and the rails were, were two dark lines standing out in the white snow. You need your snow pot for the next journey, Thomas, says driver. Poo! Snow plow, snow is silly soft stuff. It won't stop me. Now, just you listen to me, young Thomas, his driver replied. We are going to put your snow plow on, and I want no nonsense. Please? The snow plow was heavy and uncomfortable and made Thomas cross. He shook it, and he banged it. And when it got back, it was so dangerous that the jar had to take it off. You are a very naughty engine, said his driver. And shut the door. He shut the door. Shut the door for the night. Night. The next morning, both the driver and fireman and came early and worked to mend the snowplow, but they couldn't make it fit properly. It was time for the first train. Thomas was pleased. Please, I shan't have to wear it. I shan't have to wear it. He puffed down and clapped. I hope it's all right. I hope it's all right. They whispered anxiously to each other. The driver was anxious too. It's not bad. It's not bad here. Says he said to the fireman. But it sure be deep in the valley. It was snowing again when Thomas started. But the rails were not covered. Silly soft stuff, silly stuff, stuff, puff, he puffed. I don't need that stupid thing, old thing yesterday, and I don't today. Snow can't stop me. And he rushed into a tunnel thinking how clever he was. At the other end, end he saw a heap of snow falling from the sides in the cutting. Silly old snow, said Thomas, and charged it. Cinders and ashes, Puff, said Thomas. I'm stuck. And he was. Back, Thomas. Back, said his driver. Thomas tried, but his wheels spun and he couldn't move. More snow and fell and piled up around him. The conductor went back for help. While the driver, fireman, and the passengers tried to dig the snow away. But as fast as they dug, more snow slipped down until Thomas was nearly buried. Oh, my wheels and cupping rods, said Thomas sadly. I shall have to stop here till I'm frozen. What a silly engine I am. And Thomas began to cry.
At last, a dude in the distance told him a bus come for his pat come for the passengers. Then Terrence chugged through the tunnel and pulled the empty coaches away and then came back for Thomas. Thomas' wheels were clear but still spun helplessly when he tried to move. Terrence tugged and slipped and slipped and tugged and at last he dragged Thomas into the tunnel. Thank you, Terrence. Your cap hairs look splendid, said Thomas gratefully. I hope I I hope you'll be insensible now, Thomas, said his driver severely. I'll try, said Thomas, as he puffed home. So, so. 